Dear friends, welcome to the monthly outlook on markets. June started with the spotlight on election outcome. Volatility in the markets increased as the incumbent government failed to secure a clear majority. This is contrary to the expectations. However, volatility subsided as clarity on policy continuation emerged. Albeit with a significant vigor, we see sustained focus on continuing capex-led growth around PLI, roads, ports, aviation, defense, railways, and green energy. However, we now believe there will be a increased focus on farmers, rural, urban poor, and middle class. to arrest the impact of new freebies led reversal in certain states in recent election we believe rural economy is on the mend india has staged a robust recovery following the pandemic driven by resurgence in private consumption and the release of pent up demand however the nature of this recovery has been uneven and even unequal with aggregate figures masking the underlying disparities the rebound has been largely fueled by urban consumption while rural economy has lagged behind particularly after the second wave of covid-19 this divergence has resulted in a lopsided recovery with rural demand remaining subdued compared to urban areas high inflation has eroded real incomes leading to reduced consumption for instance two wheeler sales as a percentage of total domestic sales have not yet returned to pre pandemic levels and even tractor sales have declined due to below normal monsoon conditions last year despite these challenges there are initial signs of a pick up in rural demand according to nielsen iq rural fmcg sales outpaced urban areas for the first time in five quarters with sales rising by 7.6% in rural india driven by personal and home care categories this compares to a 5.8% growth in the previous quarter additionally employment provided by mgn regs has been declining since march 2024 indicating reduce dependence on the scheme now the question is will good monsoon offer respite the recently ended el nino conditions contributed to last year's patchy monsoon and higher temperatures however la nina conditions this year have led the imd to project an above normal monsoon although the monsoon arrived late in kerala the country received 18% overall deficit of rain till June 24 the southern peninsula has recorded a cumulative deficit of 7% central and northwest india has seen deficit of 19% and 65% respectively nonetheless it is important to note that june accounts for only 19% of the season's total rainfall with the bulk occurring in july and august rainfalls in july and august now remains a key monitorable now we need to really look for if are we seeing inflation pressure reducing expectation of a good monsoon this year should help elevate inflationary pressures particularly in rural areas by boosting agricultural output and reducing food prices in addition to the large fiscal stimulus provided by government during the pandemic factors such as supply chain disruption pent up demand and sharp increases in food prices and energy prices following the russian invasion of ukraine contributed to a global inflationary surge in calendar year 22 a below normal monsoon further increased inflationary pressures in india in calendar year 23 however these pressures have since eased 
with inflation in May 2024 reaching a 12 month low of 4.75%. Despite this, the disparity between rural and urban inflation persists. The gap between urban and rural inflation has widened for the third consecutive month with rural households experiencing a 5.3% price rises compared to 4.2% for urban households this can be attributed to the stubbornly high prices of cereals pulses and vegetables with a favorable monsoon expected agricultural productivity should improve leading to lower food prices and easing inflation now the important question to answer is will the budget give way to populist measures the inability of the incumbent government to secure a clear mandate has led to speculation about upcoming populist measures in the budget aimed at boosting economic growth and addressing voter concerns particularly in rural areas we are not banking on significant populist measures but a growth driven by investment in rural infrastructure such as roads irrigation and digital connectivity overall the combination of favorable monsoon predictions easing inflationary pressures and potential measures in the upcoming budget may benefit several key sectors particularly agrochemicals automobiles small ticket consumer discretionary a good monsoon will boost agricultural output increasing the demand for agrochemicals and agricultural machinery we have already started to see initial green shoots in secondary sales in washing machines refrigerators and other small ticket consumer durables now where does the valuation of india stands versus the global or emerging markets in terms of valuations nifty now trades at close to about 2021 times its 12 month forward earnings while the valuation versus emerging markets may look to be at slight premium it is also backed by superior earnings growth nifty 50 earnings after growing strongly over last few years is expected to grow at 14 to 15% in fy25 and fy26 earnings growth has been backed by improving capital efficiency as well we believe indian markets offer potential for significant value creation over medium to long term thank you